Hello. Okay, so here's what to do to update your Google My Business page if your restaurant, your office is temporarily closed. So my buddy Jason Brown wrote this article on some of the things that he's discovered while helping businesses in the community forum or helping his current clients. So Google My Business allows you to use holiday hours for special hours, and you can add up to two weeks worth of holiday hours to mark your business as temporary closed or your restaurant as temporarily closed and also add a post to let your potential customers and current customers know where you stand because it'll show up as a Google My Business post. Some things I'd like you to know is that Google is now allowing restaurants the ability to add pickup, dine out, or carry out to their business name, which is also very helpful. Some, so those are definitely do's. Some don'ts that I suggest is sending a message to Google My Biz on Twitter or Facebook message and asking them to put temporary closed on your Google My Business listing. Because what this does is this completely removes you from Google search and uh, Google Maps. So your potential customers or your current customers will not be able to find you on Google. They will not know what you're up to if, if you send this request to Google My Business. So, so don't ask for them to add the temporary closed sign. We do not <laughs> recommend it. And then the other thing too is marking your business as permanently closed. Do not recommend this either. Um, you will not be able to receive any messages or Google re reviews, but right now Google turned off the option to leave a new Google review, respond to a Google review or update your Q and A postings. So that's been completely removed from Google temporarily for the time being. But marking your business is closed when you go into your info tab right here and marking your um, holiday hours as closed as well is, is going to show Google's system that you are, okay, let me, let me restate that. So marking your business hours here, these are your normal business hours. This underneath here, this symbol is special business hours, special holiday hours. These are the ones that you need to update for a two week period. Let's say that you're closed. Now, if you go in and you change your normal operating business hours right here to closed, Google system is going to recognize that Google My Business listing, your restaurant, your office as closed, and they're gonna permanently close out your Google My Business listing and remove you from Google search and Google Maps. So really the only option that we have found so far that is working is updating those special hours or holiday hours, which are right here. And you can you have to go in and you have to update it day by day. It's not just over a period of time. You've got to do it individually. I'll show you how. And then adding a post that says temporarily, sorry, we're temporarily closed. For example, we go into this Google My Business page from your desktop. If you click on info, it's going to take you here. And if you scroll down, Here's your, your normal business hours. Just leave those in alone and then add special hours. And so right here, it's gonna already have some pre-populated dates that you, could, you just need to go in and confirm those hours. So when you toggle from open, it'll close and it'll close out hours and it'll show your, you're closed for that day. But then right here, what you can do is you can mark, let's say today, just go through and put that as closed. Let's mark tomorrow as closed. And you just go one by one, marking the week as closed. 25, 26, 27, we'll do a week's worth of closed. And then when you're done, click apply. And so those will populate showing that you're closed for that week, but you're still open. Another thing that you can do is add a post so that you can give an update because these posts show up in search 
when a search is made for a key phrase, a service, a product that you offer. If you go here, click on add update. I made a image <clears throat> that says I temporarily closed. It matches the um, colors that you have on your website so that you have the flow going across. You don't have to get that crazy, but you can. And then from here, I select a video and photos so that it populates and I just download my image. If you add a, a GIF or a video, it takes a lot longer for it to show up here on Google. So my suggestion is to just add a photo from, from here. Now, Skip has already updated the information on the website so that it explains to anybody that goes to the website, hey, we're currently closed, but here's what you can do in the meantime. Always make sure that you follow up with a call to action of what to do next, despite your physical restaurant or office being closed. So we are currently closed for the safety of our employees. We have decided to close our doors for now. We will open again as soon as it is safe to do so. What you can do is like our Facebook page for updates. While you're there, please show our great employees some love. Share some great moments that you've had at Ginger Browns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to easily copy this and paste it into the post here under write a post. And then from here, I'm going to open this so I can fully see what's going on. I'm just gonna scroll this all the way down. You can do this from desktop, but on your mobile, you cannot do that. <laughs> it's very hard to see from mobile, um, and but it still works the same way if you just copy and paste, it'll look just like this. Always put a button. I know that this is optional, but this is gonna guide the individual potential customers, current customers on what to do, where to click, how to learn more, what to go next. So some options you have is book, order online, buy, learn more, sign up, or call now. If you put call now, it does not give you an option to change your phone number. It just automatically pulls the phone number that you have listed on your Google My Business listing under the info tab. So for this particular post, I'm gonna click on learn more because I wanna send them into the Facebook page. So currently we have the UR URL here. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste this into a separate tab just to triple check uh, that this link is working and it's correct, <clears throat> which it is. And so then I go back in here and I paste that link back into um, a link for your button. Then I click preview. And so this is what your post is going to look like. I'm also going to take a screenshot of this either from your smartphone or here on your desktop because I'm going to add this as a photo in addition to a post because your Google My Business post shows up at the very bottom of your listing but all of your photos show up at the top of your listing. So I wanna make sure that this is in two different spots. I'm also, before I click publish, going to double check the learn more button works correctly and that I've copied and pasted everything in correctly, which I have. <clears throat> then from here, I'm going to click publish and then ta-da, your post is now showing up. You can share this post, which I recommend on Facebook, Twitter, and through your email list so that everyone can see what's going on and can go to your Google My Business page. Now, despite the fact that you cannot receive any reviews or reply to any reviews, if people leave a review, what we're still waiting to hear an answer from on Google is eventually when they lift that hold that they have if those reviews will start showing up on your Google My Business listing. Unfortunately, you just won't know if somebody has left a review or not in the meantime. So I'll continue to keep you updated there. The other thing that you can do is you can click on these three dots and you can click view post on search. And so right here is what I want to show you. From desktop over to the right, it, this is your Google My Business listing. Now, if you're on a smartphone, you're not going to see any of this unless you go into search, uh, into search, but this will be on the bottom and your Google My Business listing will show up on the top. But on a smartphone, of course, you're just going to see this quick rectangle right here. And so what you see is see photos right here. 
Now we don't have control. This is Google's system that chooses and it's based off of popularity and how many times your uh, photo has been viewed sometimes, or it's just Google's random selection of what they feel is best that that searcher would find interested in a photo based off of their previous searching options. So when you click on see photos, which a lot of people do, they love to look at photos. So they're going to click on photos to look here more. This is where I want to add your temporarily closed post so that they can see this first. These photos are what show up first. Now, if you scroll down and you keep scrolling and you keep scrolling, down here is where your Google My Business updates are going to show up. They're supposed to pre-populate here in that box, in this box right here, but for some odd reason they are not. So perhaps that's something that Google um, is working on because I know that Google manually approves of the posts that you make before they go live on your Google My Business listing. So they have a team uh, that manually approves or uh, or rejects your post. So it might take a little bit longer, which is why I suggest adding posts because that doesn't that's not a manual process. So then to do that, you go back in here and you click on photos. From photos. You can add this as a cover because sometimes when you add a cover, it allows you, it, it, it automatically chooses that option as your primary photo when people are looking at your Google My Business listing to where it'll show up right here automatically. Sometimes it works, I can't guarantee that because Google makes those decisions. So from here, I'm just gonna drag and drop a copy of the post that I took as sorry were temporarily closed. Then I'm also going to go in and add a photo as well so that this shows up not only as a cover photo, but it also shows up in your list of photos when you go and you click on see photos. I'm hoping this will work and it'll show up here for you. Uh, hasn't shown up yet. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Continue to follow us here on the channel that you're currently watching this video from so that we can continue to give you the most up-to-date information that we find that comes out from Google and lead you in the direction of where you need to go to get any other questions answered. Thank you.